Good morning, I'm Faye Thompson. This morning we're going to do a chicken noodle recipe. Uh, you can use rice to do this recipe instead of the noodles if you'd like to, but I prefer the noodles in this one. I have another recipe of chicken and rice that we will video another time. We're going to use a stick of butter, which is a half a cup. We want this on low heat, so we're going to melt this butter, and then we're going to add uh, one-third cup of flour. And all we're doing here is making a roux. And it's, if you don't want to make this roux, you know you can always add a ch cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. Either one would be fine. I, I just prefer making my own. Uh, I, I don't think there's a lot of difference, but uh, and, it, and sometimes it might be even a, give you a, a situation where you may not have the soup or whatever you have in your kitchen. There's three things you can use for this. You can either do the roux or the cream of chicken or the cream of mushroom. So we'll let this melt. We're going to add flour to it, just like you do gravy or... I never will forget one time one of my friends uh, took me to a cooking class in Memphis, Tennessee. They were started out making a roux. And of course, you know, I had not been married that long and just a little country girl that didn't know much about everything. I told her, I said, well, that's the way we make gravy. <laughs> she just laughed. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a third cup of flour. We want this on pretty low heat because butter, you know, will burn pretty easily, so you sure don't want to do that. Let's get that mixed up real good. Be sure all the lumps are out of it. Okay, that looks fine. We're going to gradually add in our one cup of milk. Okay, we've got two cups of chicken broth we're going to add to this. Now you can make your own chicken broth. I do a lot of times. I, I usually have it in the freezer. If you've watched another video on chicken and dumplings, I showed you how we made the chicken broth for the dumplings, and it's the same chicken broth. You just have it in the freezer and use it for so many things. We got one and a half teaspoons of salt we're going to add to this. One half teaspoon of uh, black pepper. And what we're doing, we're waiting for this to thicken up a little bit. Over here, we've got to start cooking our noodles. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of salt in this pan of water. Choose whatever your uh, noodle package call for. Just cook it by their direction. We bring it to a boil, and now we're fixing to add the noodle. And I'm going to use this curly noodle. You can use any kind of noodle you want to. That's going to cook for about... Usually about 10 minutes is about what I cook a noodle. I'm going to set the clock for that. When this thickens a little bit more, we're going to add water crescents. And I buy the ones that are already sliced, but I still slice them a little bit. But you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can buy them whole and chop them up if you want to. But that's the kind I use. And we're fixing to put those in here as soon as it thickens just a little bit. We're thick enough here that we can start pouring in our water chestnuts. These are real good in here too. You'll like this. The chicken, I like to use the, the rotisserie chickens. What I do, I'll buy rotisserie chicken somewhere to market and I'll eat off. I, like, I kind of like the dark meat. So I'll eat off parts I want and then I cut the rest of it up and put it in the freezer, and then I can make all kind of chicken recipes out of it. That's what this is, rotisserie chicken. And it gives it a good taste, too. There's two cups of rotisserie chicken. It's just about what it makes out of one chicken when I eat what I, I like, the drumsticks and the, the thighs and the wings. And when I eat all that off of it, well, there's, I'm not real crazy about the breast meat, 
but when I eat all that off of it, well, it's just about two cups. We're going to bake this in a uh, 9 by 13 pan, and I need to spray it. I'm going to use Pam to spray it with. You don't have to use these sprays if you want to, but I love them. I just, they're easy to use. This recipe, we have to cover it to bake it uh, like you do a lot of noodle recipes, and it cooks on a 350 oven for 45 minutes. Okay, it's time to take our chicken casserole out. It's been cooking 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. Now we have finished our uh, chicken and noodle recipe. It's been in the oven for uh, 45 minutes and it looks good. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And I'll see you on another family video and I sure thank you for watching.